ride-hailing company Lyft, Uber's main rival, will soon offer lifts to GTA residents in its first foray outside the U.S. We've been a business for five years and have been focused entirely on the United States, so we were very deliberate when making a decision to launch in Toronto as our first international market. John Zimmer, Lyft's president and co-founder, told the star in an exclusive interview. We see it as a world-class city. It will likely become one of our top five markets overall. We expect that to happen, and we see it as a city that really shares the values that we have at Lyft, focusing on people taking care of people, treating people well, treating people with mutual respect and promoting both inclusion and diversity. It's a big decision. It's a big moment for us, and we're excited to be coming to Toronto. Preparing to go head-to-head -head with Uber, Lyft is signing up local drivers, including some who will respond to smartphone hails via both companies, and set up a local hub offering expertise to those who want to use their personal cars to make money. Lyft plans to launch next month in the greater Toronto area and Hamilton with five options, regular vehicles for up to four passengers, the plus service, with vehicles that can carry up to six people. Premier, offering high-end cars, locks, with luxury black cars piloted by a top driver, and an SUV version of Lux. The company is not yet ready to announce passenger rates, driver fees or details of the Toronto office. The expansion comes more than five years after Uber barged into the Toronto market, upending the traditional cab industry. Its lobbying efforts helped produce, just over a year ago, council approved regulations legalizing app-based private transportation companies alongside taxis.